sun is just rising for the day as we speak. It is bright and early and we are off to a morning adventure. So we're kicking off the day with a morning nature drive, which I'm really excited about because Brandon and I, we love this road kind of near us in Florida and it's just so peaceful. It has orange groves and it's just a beautiful way to start the day. So I'm excited to do that with you all and I'm super excited and thankful to be partnering with Volkswagen for this video. We have been driving around their stunning Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport and it truly is a work of art. It's an SUV with dramatic coupe-like design and outstanding interior space as well as advanced connectivity which is of course great and it's assembled in Chattanooga, Tennessee at Volkswagen's state-of-the-art plant, which I think is just so neat. That's only a few states above us, so it's really, really cool. And it also has a large second row and cavernous cargo area, which just makes it equipped for any and every adventure, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. We're just gonna be going on some adventures and I'm excited to spend the day with you all. So let's get on our way. picnic as well and it is truly such a lovely day so I'm excited to enjoy it. Bee's currently driving but I definitely want to drive later because this car is truly so fun to drive and I actually have the seat heaters on right now because it's currently 55 degrees so it is a little chillier today. They have heated front and rear seats as an available feature which I just think is amazing and makes any car so much more comfortable. Look at this deliciousness. Our picnic was so lovely. Our taste buds were just spoiled with the donuts and the fruit. It was fabulous. <laughs> you loved it? Yes. The donuts were just a highlight. And now we are on our way to the market to hopefully get some healthier food for the rest of the day. So you guys know we love the farmer's market. So we're gonna pop over there. And then we also are on the hunt for a lemon tree, especially because we have a car big enough now to fit a lemon tree. We've been wanting to plant one in our backyard. So that is what we're gonna look for. That's our next little adventure. So let's get to it. or a lemon tree and honestly I feel like both would be fabulous but Brandon actually eats oranges every single night I like them too but I don't eat one every single night he, that's like his dessert after dinner so we could do that but also lemons are more versatile for salad dressing and just like a bunch of different recipes so I'm kind of leaning towards the lemon trees and I just think they look really precious so do the orange trees clearly like the ones you saw at our little breakfast picnic but I don't know it'll be a win either way we'll just see what we can find this morning when we began our adventure it was 55 degrees and I was using the heat seaters the seat heaters <laughs> but now it is how it's 72. It's 72 really sunny, and so really, really sunny. sunny. So it's quite warmer. the temperature jump. And now I'm using the seat coolers and it feels fabulous. Both of them feel fabulous. And I think the seat coolers are just so key, especially for hot Florida summers. I can feel the sun on my skin. Tomorrow, there's no 
this cargo protection system is super helpful because these little tools move around and you can just kind of adjust them to your needs. But it's really great because it helps stuff not slide around in the back of your trunk. We are back from our morning adventure and I wanted to show you all of the goodies we picked up. So at the farmer's market, we got some fresh butter lettuce that was actually harvested this morning. So fresh is an understatement. And then we also picked up some beautiful flowers and these heirloom carrots. I love these because I just adore how colorful they are. And then also a cucumber and some radishes. So we can use that to make a yummy salad tonight. And then also for dinner tonight, Tonight, I'm thinking we'll cook this fresh pasta that we also picked up. It's really beautiful and smells amazing. So we'll cook that later and that'll be delicious. And a little citrus tree update. So we weren't able to find a lemon tree, but we did end up finding an orange tree. And it was just kind of meant to be serendipity because it was the very last orange tree and you know, we were open to both. So I think it'll be absolutely perfect. And I'm just hoping it harvests and we can take good care of it. So we're actually gonna have a potted orange tree and it's a Valencia orange tree. So that's what we'll work on later. And it'll be a cute little full circle moment because we started our day eating breakfast by the orange groves and then we'll end our day with potting our very own orange tree so i think that'll be super cute so i'm just going to put all these goodies away make some iced coffee probably change my outfit to something more suited for gardening and then we'll get to it coffee time cheers <laughs> here is our small but mighty orange tree it is very humble and dainty looking but we have high hopes and I think it'll be a beautiful addition to our home so we also got this really big pot so that we can give it a little bigger home and we'll probably end up keeping it on our lanai right here because they actually prefer a bunch of sunlight direct sunlight and this spot of our home gets a ton of direct sunlight so we think it'll be very very happy here so now i'm just going to repot it and make it all comfortable there and it's harvest time actually begins in march so i'm not sure if it's old and mature enough to start harvesting this spring but we're really hoping that someday it will harvest and we'll keep just cheering it on until then Whenever I'm repotting any plants, I like to always just add extra rocks and also some sticks and pine needles if I have them around just to help with the plant's drainage because the roots can just get too saturated with water on the bottom and that can really hurt the plants. So just a little tip to add some rocks at the bottom of your pots. Let me know if you guys have ever taken care of an orange tree or have any tips because they would be greatly appreciated. Okay, I'm about to get started on dinner and we decided to do a little alfresco dining situation. So I'm gonna cook dinner and then we're gonna eat it outside because again, it is just such a gorgeous day. And after dinner, we decided we also want to take a little drive to the water and watch the sunset because again, it's just so beautiful and we wanna soak it up. And I actually checked the weather for the rest of the week and it's supposed to be so rainy. So we're just gonna savor every moment of this day and I I am super, super excited about this meal.
Here is our beautiful al fresco dining situation. Breakfast by the orange groves and now dinner by our sweet little orange tree. <laughs> had a cute little sunset drive date it was lovely and that's gonna be it for today's vlog though it was just full of adventures and fun times hope it kind of inspired you to go on a little adventure no matter how big or how small but we love you guys and cannot wait to see you super soon bye, bye.